Hello everyone, my name is Ranjit Bhosle, MB Department, KIT's IMER, Kolhapur. Today we will be discussing about B2B procurement and segmentation, which is the second lesson of first unit of B2B marketing. As the name suggests, B2B marketing is the process of sourcing the goods, materials, parts or products you need from vendors. This includes the selection of goods and products, making the order, receiving and paying for that order as well as creating all the required documentation along the way. So when we think of the process, this process is very big and this B2B procurement will definitely help us to go with this process in an ease. Procurement for the sake of B2B encompasses all interactions of your business which you have with other businesses. So basically this is the medium of communication which you can have with other businesses and can build healthy relations with other businesses. B2B procurement basically emphasizes for creating awareness and commitment to change because technological advancements is coming into the market and we need to change considering options which are available in market commitment to the solution in a very less time having less decision time and going for a final selection with a better option and this this is nothing but the importance of b2b procurement let us go with the next part and that is nothing but b2b segmentation Basically, the segmentation can be done with the two types. One is segmentation based on size and segmentation based by customers. The detailed segmentation I will be telling you in the next slide. Segmentation by the size can be particular company sales, revenues or the number of employees. Whereas segmentation by customers, you can divide B2B market into discrete groups that are based on the product specification of the buyer. This refers to the division of target market into discrete group depending upon similar requirements for a service or a product which can help for the organization for better processes. Each segment differs from one another in terms of individual needs and purchasing behavior which is absolutely different in B2C compared to B2B. This is why, this is why you find out you cannot achieve the same success within all the segments. Segmentation customers based on firmographics. So this is basically how your industry is, where your industry is located, what is the size of your organization or your industry, the status or structure of your organization or industry and moreover the performance of the industry. Segmenting customers based on the needs. I have given an example of Microsoft Office 365 which is there for a business. You can find out there are four basic subscriptions which are on the screen. The first one is business basic which does have four applications then goes with the business standard which does have near about 10 applications and then in premium it goes on increasing. This is how based on the customer's needs, based on the business's needs, you can sell your product, same product to different organization. Segmentation customers based on tiring. This can be done on the basis of revenues that are generated by the businesses. Tire 1 will have more revenue. Tire 2 will have less than that and Tire 3 definitely the lesser. Segmentation customer based on customer sophistication. It is basically done on the knowledge of the organization, the preferences that an organization have, the product usage that the business might have and the experiences these businesses want to give to their customers. This is absolutely a tailor marketing strategy which is used in many organizations. On the screen now you can see there are different B2B marts online which are available which I have given an example of MSME Mart, JustDial.com, IndiaMart.com and PipingMart.com. You can go on these websites and then you can see that it is specifically made for businesses. So let us go with the reflection spot what are types of B2B segmentation. The first one firmographics, second one based on the needs. Third one based on tiring and fourth one customer sophistication. So this is B2B segmentation. Thank you.